welcome to my craft room. Hey, I got a really fun card this time. This is a new Z-Fold card. When it goes into the envelope, it goes like this. And then when they open it, you get this pop-up Christmas tree. Can you see that? And it displays really, really well. So whoever gets it is going to love it. So before we go, I need you to go down into my description and click on the Cricut link there. Cricut will take the base of this card and put it onto your canvas and you'll be ready to go. So let's go make it. Okay, guys, here we are on the canvas. If you click the link in my description, you will have this on your page. If you don't, go back to my description, click on the Cricut link, and Cricut will put this on your canvas. So you'll be ready to go. So here's your envelope. I'm going to move it out of the way. I'll talk about more about that on the craft table. This is your front. This is snow that's going to go in front of this. And this is snow that's going to go on your background. And this is your mechanics for your pop-up. So I already made everything the right color for you, so you don't have to change anything on this. So let's get our images. You're gonna go down here to images. If you have never looked up images on Cricut by their code number, this is exactly what you do. We're gonna go in here to start. Everything starts with hashtag M. Your truck is 40A, 40A, 582CE. 582 CE search. Okay, now you see we've got a whole list of all the images that we're going to use on this project. So once you get it pulled up, you're going to click on it. It's going to put down here by add. Once you get all these images on your canvas, then I will come back. We'll do colors and sizes, and then you'll be ready to cut. I'm gonna fast forward through here while I get all of our um, images put up that we need. Okay, we got all our stuff. Let's get it a little bit organized. Okay. Um, let's do the birch trees first. They're the easiest. You're going to go into edit and you're going to change them to white. This white way down here. That's our white white. Okay, and they are going to be two inches wide. There we go. And then you're going to unlock your button. And they are going to be six inches tall there we go relock your button because whenever i don't relock it i always mess everything up oh mm -mm. Hmm. okay so we got our first birch let's do this guy he is also going to be two two by six so first we're going to do two and then we're going to unlock our button and do six. There we go. And change it to white. Easy. Now I need this guy facing the other way. So as long as you're in edit, you go all the way over here to the right and you hit this horizontal. That way his branch goes the right way. And this guy we need two of. So we're going to go to actions and duplicate. And one goes here. This one, we are also going to switch around. If you have two-sided paper, you probably don't even need to do this. There we go. And then our background trees. These are all, both of these. I'm going to highlight both of them. Go to edit. And change your color. There. See? Just like that. They're going to be that dark green. And this one is going to be two inches tall. Two inches for the height. Okay, and these guys are going to be two inches wide the other way. 
There we go. Now highlight both of them and we're going to duplicate. We need two of each. Oops. So this guy's here. This guy's here. And I am going to apologize right now. I uh, messed up on our um, craft table. And I, I glued down these birch trees before I put my uh, these smaller trees back behind them. Just remember that, and I'll try to warn you before if I remember. A pickup truck. Let's go ahead and get him done. He is 4.9 wide. 4.9. Okay, now let's go. I'm going to bring him up high so we can see. Let's go into layers and do our colors. This I um, did in white. This I changed to the light blue. This goes inside your window. I changed this to the light blue. Actually, I didn't. Mine is still white. But I wish I had changed it to the light blue. And that's why I come back. Redo this with you. Let's check our white and make sure that it's the right white. And it is. So we don't have to mess with any of the whites. So let's do our greens. Our Christmas tree with the ornaments, this and this Christmas tree are all going to be in a brighter green. So we're going to go in here and we're going to pick this green right here. See how I already have that done. Let, I'm going to try our uh, an experiment here with this new update. And I think it's going to work. I am going through and finding the headlight. The headlight I'm going to change to yellow here in a minute. But all of these greens, the tree, the hubcaps. Okay, then I'm going to go in here to basic cut. I'm going to change all of them to the bright green. Let's see if it works. And it does. That is something from the new update. This guy is going to be the yellow that we're using for the star on the tree. And it doesn't matter which one we pick. I'm just going to pick this dark yellow right here. Okay. And we'll change the... Um, Let's let's check our two tires and see what color they are. They need to be this main black. They okay, are brown. This brown. And this is going to be the trunk of both of our trees, so we want it in that darkest brown. And now our reds. This is our background red, and I did this in the darker, like that. And then the front of the truck, I did in a lighter red. And it doesn't have to match exactly. We are just trying to keep ourselves organized here. Your truck is done. So while we're doing the pinks and the, I mean, the reds and the greens, let's go ahead and do our, our big Christmas tree. This guy is, we're going to have to change him on both sides. So unlock your button in between your height and your width. You're going to do 2.5 wide. And four inches high. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Let's make him a little shorter so he looks better. There we go. Now, let's find him and do his colors. So, this green is going to be our light green that we just did the tree in the pickup. Okay. These are going to be the same red as our the lighter red on our pickup. Um, This one. Okay, if we if we keep everything organized, we have less to do when we get over uh, on sync. Okay, then our yellow. Let's just give it the same yellow we just gave the headlight, which is this one. Okay, there you go. Your pop up tree is done. Um, let's see what else have we got left. It looks like oh, we've got our Merry Christmas. Oh, this goes on the door of the truck. Okay, I made the bow the dark red that would match our cardinals. It's going to match the background of the truck, and it's going to make it kind of stick out from the brighter red that's on the front. So there's a method to my madness. So we're going to do the dark red, and then our green is going to be the same dark green that we did our... um back pine trees just so it will stick out on the truck we are going to make this 0 0.6 0 0.6 there we go i just thought our pickup truck was a little boring i know that sounds terrible doesn't it 
But look what a difference a little tiny thing makes. Now, all of these smaller things like this, this wreath and our um, phrase on our Merry Christmas, make sure you cut it out with the cardstock for intricate cuts. And I do more pressure and have a very, very sticky mat. And then I just use an X-Acto knife to kind of pick them up off the mat so they don't get all mushy. Okay, the easiest thing for us to do right now is to change the colors first. So let's go into layers. This I did in the bright red so it would match the tree in our truck. So let's find him. There he is. The Mary is going to be the light red. And this one. Christmas is going to be this light green. Now this guy's, um, he is 2.25 wide. Make sure your button is locked. Your width is 2.25. There we go. Now we need an oval to sit him on. I didn't want to make it super fancy because, again, this is more rustic, farmhouse, that kind of thing. So we want a simple shape. So I went into here, shapes, grabbed an oval. We're going to make this white. There we go. It's 2.5 inches wide. And look at that. It came up at 2.5 inches wide. Isn't that funny? Okay. I am going to push send back. That will pop my Merry Christmas back up on here. I'm just going to kind of show you how to put something in the middle of something. And it doesn't really matter because we're actually going to glue this on. But this is a good little little tip here. Okay, you see those purple lines? That one right there means I'm in the middle horizontally. I'm going to keep moving back and forth until I'm in the middle vertically. And then I will have two crossed purple lines right there. See that? That means my Merry Christmas is in the middle. Turn it a little bit and he goes right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy up. Hold on. I kind of want to put this up here so you guys can kind of have a guide. I put this right where the um the, the blue stops because I want it to, there we go. All we have left is our cardinals. Now, what I didn't know... Cardinals are kind of a big deal in the winter because they're one of the few spots of color, that and, you know, holly. So I just want silhouettes, though. So, and this was the only cardinal I find that is flying. So first, we're going to ungroup. The only thing we need is this guy. Well, we need his face, too, and I'll fix that here in a minute. But what we need to do is get rid of all this okay so we're going to delete that now i'm going to show you something a little bit new too now we need to put his wing back so he looks like he's flying and we've also got to put his face back get him in here just right that's good okay where's his beak right here and then i'm going to show you something else how how we're going to make this into a silhouette because again this was the only guy I could find who was flying the other guy is already a silhouette. And this is not super important. You just want him to look like a cardinal. I'm going to drag my finger or my mouse across all of these and grab them all. Then I'm going to go into combined and unite. Look at that. We just made a silhouette. And then his color, it automatically is going to change this color. Is going to be the dark red. We, we did the cardinals in the dark red. And he's got a couple little cuts. You'll never see those. Okay. And then this guy's in our dark red. Not as dark as he is there. And uh, we're going to change their sizes. And we need two of the sitting guy. And they're both 0.5 wide. <laughs> Look how little that is. Yeah. They're just a little bit of color up here. Okay, the sitting guy, we need to duplicate one of them. Do you see this branch is kind of sticking up here behind our sign all by itself? I stuck one there. I put one in the background of our tree. 
I just wanted a little bit of color. Oh, 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 that guy's going the wrong way. If you're double-sided paper, you don't have to worry about it. If you don't, hit horizontal. There you go. And look at that. You're ready to cut. But I'm gonna, I need you to do me a couple favors. First, let's go check in our colors in sync. Okay, we wanna make sure that we cut the least amount of mats as possible. So you've got your black, your dark green, your light green. Uh-oh, we didn't change the tree trunk. Ah, look, somehow got moved from brown down to red. So I need to move him back up. We need two of those in there. Got that fixed. Black, dark green, light green, brown, gray, the dark red. Okay, see? I don't, I, I knew something was wrong with the d dark red. I wonder what happened here. Okay, we need the background to be the dark red, remember? So if yours is also changed, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Somewhere, somehow. Okay, your yellow and all your whites. Okay, there you go. Black, dark green, light green, brown, gray, dark red, blue, light red, yellow, and white. Now, the nice thing about cards is you get to use a bunch of your scraps. And I've got a lot of scraps, so that's great for me. Okay, I need to ask you a favor. For it to make it super fast for us when we're on the craft table, please go ahead and glue these three things together. You do not need to sit here and watch me glue these little tiny things together. You are way too good. So if you will glue these three things um, together for me before we get over to the craft table, then... We'll be ready to go, and it'll be super fast over on the craft table. So, I'll meet you over there. Okay, here we are on the craft table. As you can see, it has been well loved. Um, we're going to need pop dots for this. I've put it in the description. But you don't have to have them. It's, they're not mandatory. Glue. I use our glitter glue. It's really good paper to paper glue. It dries clear. I buy it with a refill and this smaller one and this little tiny tip. A little bit goes a very long way. Anyway, okay. Oh, and envelope for this. You can, there is an envelope that comes with it. Then you fold it up. This is not it. It's, this one is square. Um, but you can, it's the same thing, you just fold it up. Or this is a five by seven card, which is very uh, common size. Um, so you can buy a package of envelopes. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I waited until they went half off. So 12 for $1.50, so they're what? 11 cents a piece, 12 cents a piece, something like that. Thank you for putting these things together. It really makes time on the... Um, on the craft table easier. I, I'm running out of room here. I'm gonna make myself a little bit extra room. You need your card. I already folded this. And then you on one side, you're gonna have a score line that goes right down the middle. And we're gonna fold that back, just like that. Okay, there we go. This is why they call it a Z fold card. So let's get the back decorated. Um, when your card folds, it's going to fold like this, like this, okay? And then when it opens, it's going to open like this, and this is how it's displayed. And then, do you see this, this pink support under here? Okay, that is what we're going to be doing. So I kind of wanted you to see it visually before we go, go any farther. But first, we need to do our um, background. These are all going to be one-fourth inch around okay so all your edges are going to be a quarter in oh, i'm going to tell you this real quick um i'm going to try to put th three things out this week but mm, it's thanksgiving and i'm the only girl here so this is tuesday before thanksgiving so tomorrow i'm going to do you know all my pre cooking my castle you know my casseroles or whatever i'm doing i have a a potato casserole that's kind of like a um a big giant twice baked potato. So that and the stuffing and a bunch of stuff I can make ahead of time. Pies and cookies and junk like that. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I've already got a video, but it, I need to edit it and all this stuff. 
there is this really cool thing that Cricut's had on its program for a very long time. And it's one of those uh, layered paper um, projects, but it's old, way before the layered paper became popular. It's three different panels, and it's the Nativity. Uh, the left-hand panel has the three wise men traveling. The right-hand panel has the shepherds. And the middle panel has the stable, the manger, the holy family. So, the only reason that I never made it was because it didn't have any sides. Let's, let's set this aside just a second to dry. Then I'm going to get my... Um, inking stuff out. Now, I am using these two things. I've been a scrapbooker for decades, so I have a lot of this type of um, supplies. We're going to get some ink on our thing, and then you could use a, a cotton ball, and like I said, you can use a um, felt tip pen. I've got just a little bit of ink. I don't want a ton. This is snow. Okay, not, not like ocean. <laughs> so we just want to highlight this one edge all the way down. You see how that does? And, and all we're doing is just defining our layers of snow. Now, I debated on this because I also like um, just white on white. You know, where you get, you get the layers of snow, but it's not, you know, right in your face. Okay, but I haven't inked yet and I thought that would be easy and look, boom, done. See how easy that was? Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and let it dry. These guys, all of these guys, we need to trim the top. Okay, why can I not find anything on my table? Oh, there we go. I have a special needs adult son and every once in a while he'll come up here to my craft room and look for something and then it takes me a minute. Okay, I want these to be even, these top ones, see? Because what I wanna do, they're gonna start and stop right here on this blue so it doesn't look like we've just got trunks floating around. Okay, and this one, I also need it even. And just straight across, it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is, then this is what I tell everybody. This is a handmade card. That is part of its charm. Having everything not so perfect. If you want something perfect, you go to Hallmark and spend $15 on a pop-up card. <laughs> I still can't believe how expensive it is. It just shocks me. Okay, you've got two with the smaller branches and one with the bigger. Actually, I have this turned around. There we go. Um, actually, it's going to go way over here because this, this section right here is your background for your Christmas tree. This one is going to go on this panel. Okay. You, we're going to match up the top. Uh-oh. Mine's not even. And even if yours it leans a little bit, you know, it's not exactly straight up and down. Well, it's the forest. It doesn't have to be straight up and down. Okay, so let me get this. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but when I was taking it off of my um, mat, I pulled it, I pulled it in half. I glued it back yesterday and it's been sitting overnight, but I still need to make sure I put some good glue on it after I repaired it. So this is where my repairs are right here and I'm gonna make sure I have some good glue. Okay, all we're going to do is match this right up to the top. And you want to go over kind of far over here to the left. And, and your little branch can, can, um, can run off of your blue. You don't want it to go past your white, though. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay, here's this one. He is going to go as far to the right as, you, as his branch will allow you. See how mine's just a little bit crooked? I kind of like that. And this way, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what how you can kind of change things, even though they're the same. So, this is a very generic winter background. And really, it's just background. 
it's here to kind of set a mood and decide. Uh-oh, I think I might have messed up a little bit. Hold on. Before this gets dry, I am going to pick it up. Sorry about that. And this one. I'm so busy talking to you guys, I'm not paying attention. Oh, I just need a little bit of a gap right here. Okay, but first I need to figure out my spacing. Okay, this is eventually going to go here, and it's going to go right at the bottom of your um, blue. So about quarter inch up. Okay, so we need to make sure that we kind of keep our trees above it. Oh, and we're going to need to put our snow in actually even farther above it, probably about right there. So I am going to go ahead and tack this down really quick. Sorry about that. I should have done that first. That was my mistake. Then I am going to go ahead and glue my birch tree over, and then I can glue the rest of it after. And that way everything stays in its spot. There we go. And this guy, he's going to go over here. I'm going to make him up a little bit higher. This trio, and you can put it in front if you want. You don't have to put it behind. That's up to you. And this was my mistake, so I'm very, very sorry. There, just like that. You see that? Okay, there we go. And then let's get this back behind here. Glued. This is what happens when I put it together for the first time for you guys. Every once in a while, something's not going to quite work. But part of my job, too, is to teach you guys how to fix your mistakes, too, right? I mean, we all are going to be making mistakes. Now, there are certain ways that these go. They're, you're going to have a straight line because we've got to leave enough room for the card to fold. Okay, you cannot put these. And we may end up having to trim this in just a little tiny bit. Depends on how it's going to. Yeah, look at that. That's almost perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these put in right under your trees and then we'll see how well it folds i think we're going to end up having to trim a little tiny piece off as a matter of fact i'm going to go ahead and do that just i mean just a sliver not much just because these are exactly the same size as your as each side okay the big one goes on the right and i'm going to put it right here there we go, just like that. See that? This one, I'm gonna, let's see. Yeah, that's it's this side. I am going to take a tiny little sliver. Okay, again, this is all background. Okay, and we're just gonna line it right up on the other side of your score line. There you go, and it should you should have a little bit of room. Uh-oh, there we go like that and then one more sliver it's too hard for me to do this on Cricut because it's such a small little tiny piece and of course if you don't even want to put these back there you don't have to it, nobody's going to see them it's all background nobody's going to notice they're going to see the truck and the tree and that's going to be their deal okay there we go there's our snow uh, our bigger trees now, if you want, you can pop dot these off just a little tiny bit. This is a personal choice on whether you want to do pop dots or not. Um, I like pop dots. And since we already have a little bit of it popping up, this will just give you one more dimension. Okay, so I'm just putting a couple on here. And if you don't have any pop dots, uh, if you have that, you know that, that those foam sheets you buy for kids to make crafts out of. Just cut, so one or two sheets, and then just glue it. I am gonna put this right here, because I want it so these are more, you know, in the front, okay? Then the other one I'm gonna put over here on this panel. These will smush down when, when you fold your card to put it in the envelope, and then when it goes through the post office. So, and this guy's going to go right here. Okay. 
I do this first and then do the canvas because if we come across any problems here, I can solve them, okay? So now let's fold this. This middle fold is gonna go down or what they call a mountain fold. And then this half is gonna go up. The other half is it doesn't have a score line in it, okay? So there we go, just like that. All right, okay, flatten it back out. And I'm gonna go before, it'll be a lot easier for us to go ahead and put the, these pieces of snow on here. Now this is gonna basically be the same, okay? But I want another curve of snow, another, I don't know, hill, snowbank. Gosh, I grew up in Colorado, you'd think I'd know, right? Um, I grew up at, in Colorado with, in a very, very small town way up in the mountains. We went up there this summer for my dad's funeral and um, I live at sea level now, so 10,000 feet altitude, whoo, that's tough on me now. And I'm not used to it. It takes you, you know, anywhere from three to four weeks for you to acclimate. Now, this one is a little tiny bit smaller, so it should fit without having to trim it. This one is actually going to be on the side once you open the card. Okay, and then I'm going to match it up right here. Aha, see, this one's just a tiny bit long. It really won't make any difference, but I don't want anything messing with our folds. There we go. I just trimmed it so it's not going over the score. This one will be easier because I can uh, trim it from the other side. So I live at sea level now and I haven't lived at 10,000 feet in a very, very, very long time. And um, I came down here for college and I married a man in the oil business. <laughs> And of course they're, you know, so now, so I got stuck in Texas. So I have been down here for, well, we've been married for 32 years. So, um, long time. Okay. Now we're going to fold this, make sure it folds well. Okay. And now let's get it on here. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to figure out, I want to do it right even with the bottom of this light blue. So we still have white behind it. I don't want the light blue to show. So now you see how we've got our levels of snow here, okay? So you're gonna lay it out flat. Your two panels, your two panels are on this side, okay? Once you get it all lined up, it should match the edges of your card exactly. Hold it down, flip this up, and we are going to glue this square and this square only right now, okay? There we go. And then you're just gonna smooth it out. Okay, this gives us kind of an unbroken snow feel. Do you see that? Okay, now we need to do the other side. I'm gonna spin this so I can see what I'm doing. We're gonna pull this up and I still wanna do just this square. So I'll find where my um, score line is. I'll put my thumb up under there. I'll pull it out and I know I do not want to go past my thumb to glue this, okay? So I know exactly where I'm at, okay? And then we're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to smooth it out, okay? Just like that. Give it just a second. Now, pick it up and then boom, look at that. Let's, we always make sure we can fold it because if it can't go in the envelope, <laughs> we're in trouble. Okay, there you go. Now, remember this part? Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can get you in there. There we go. Do you see how these are the same? Now we need to put in this, this pink support here, which is gonna be this, which has your little bit of a um, snow bank on the front. And then we're gonna fold down on these score lines. Okay, now we gotta figure out our placing. Okay, so, and then it's your choice on whether you want, do you want to glue it in? It's better to go ahead and glue it in this on the front and have this the same 
even and it's your thing. But if you would rather do it behind and not have the truck, hey, go for it, okay? So first, let's get this guy put in, okay? Now, I folded this way back. Oh, and I have the wrong side showing. The inked side should be showing. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna have to show, I'm gonna show you from the top for now, but my camera's up there, so. Okay, you're gonna take this and you're gonna slide it in here. Probably about a quarter inch up above. Okay, so we are going to put this in and once we get it in, these tabs here are gonna butt right up against the back of the car. Do you see that? Okay, so, but I'm gonna have to do it from the side because you are up above me. So we're gonna put glue here, but remember we've got about a quarter of an inch sticking up. So you don't want any glue on the top quarter inch here. Okay, and then over here, we're gonna get both of them done. Now, I keep mine bent in like this. Okay, so I'm not dragging glue as I'm pulling in, okay? So we are going to slide this in and we're gonna stop at about a quarter inch up. So let me show you real quick. Okay, you're gonna slide it in and you can see your distance right here. So I've got about a quarter of an inch showing here. So I'm gonna put it in here, make sure it's straight, and then I'm gonna go over here. Make sure that those tabs are butting right up against the back of the card. Do you see that? It's hard for me to show you. Ooh, maybe from the bottom since it's blue. Do you see those where those tabs are? Do you see that? Okay, you want to butt them all the way back up against the card. And there you go, look at that. <laughs> okay, now, Go ahead and flatten it out, but be careful because you got wet glue, okay? And you don't want to glue. And I, while we're talking about wet glue, I'm going to say this. I said on every single video. Once we are done, let it sit out either overnight or a few hours and let all the glue dry because you don't want to glue it to itself or to the inside of the envelope, okay? So now I want this to sit sort of on top, Okay, so it just gives it a little bit of extra support. It's just a pop-up, so it's not like it needs a ton, okay? I'm gonna put glue here on my trunk. Now, if you go flat, you'll see the middle is right here at this, um, at this score line. So, I'm gonna put it right in the middle, right here. Mm, mine's a little crooked, make sure he is straight. There. And look at that. You already got your pop-up. Can you see that? <laughs> Quick. Look how good that, look how good you're doing. You are doing really, really good. Okay, before we do the truck, let's go ahead and do our Merry Christmas. And I left this part blank down here for you to sign. Okay. Um, it, there's, you know, there's two schools of thought where you sign on the back so they can use this as decor, but, you know, they're going to display it and they want, you know, people to see that you sent them a really nice get a really nice card. Okay, look, I'm going to put right up here in this corner. Not, you know, doesn't have to be specific. I have it overlapping just the blue, just a little tiny bit on each side, just like that. Then we've got our pickup truck here. And then all we got to do, well, let's go ahead and do our cardinals. And then all we got to do is our pickup and you're, you're completely done. I told you this is fast and easy. Now we want, you see three, red, red, red. And I just kind of wanted to fill in a little bit of red up above. There's two sitting birds and one flying bird. And what I would like to do since we do have a little bit of empty space here, I would like to put the flying bird there. Hold on, let me get some glue on him. Oh, to balance out this red, probably right here, just like that. And then these guys are going to be sitting on our tree. 
So see this, remember we put this long branch here? Hmm, I know that's not what I had on my thing, but I don't really like this sticking out. So I'm gonna make him sit on it. <laughs> and then this one is opposite. He faces the other way. And I am gonna put him over here on our first panel. And it's your choice on which branch you want him to sit on. There we go. Look at that. Look how good you're doing. All we've got left is our pickup. Flatten this back out again. Don't leave it flat for very long. You've got wet glue. Now, some of this is a personal choice on here. You can do it way down here so your snow shows. You can do it farther up here. I kind of like it more towards the bottom. But your choice. I was looking, you know, there's like 5 million of these trucks on all in the image in access with Cricut. So I was looking at all these and I was like, hmm, that tree in the back of the pickup truck should have a star on it to match this guy. And then I realized he just cut it down and he's taking it home. Of course it wouldn't have a star on it, silly. Okay, I'm going to put this pretty much right in the middle of this panel. I'm going to leave probably about a quarter inch up for him to drive on. Okay. See, I put about a quarter inch right here. But he should fit on that panel just right. And look at that. Look how cute it, it looks coming out of the envelope. And then when you open it, you've got this really cool pop-up. Look at that. You did a great job. I am so proud of you.